1340 and FM 92.1 WCSR. Joining us live in the studio is uh, Steve Beer and by phone from Lowell, Bruce Matthews. Bruce is the director of the North Country Trail, which uh, spans seven states and is the longest hiking trail in the United States of America. And uh, Steve, uh, I want to thank you for coming in this morning. And you know, you've been involved in this for a for a good long time, I think, from the inception, one way or the other, haven't you? Right. I was a, one of the founding members of the uh, Chief Bob East chapter of the North Country Trail. Now, that doesn't go all the way back to the beginning of the trail, but does go back to the beginning of the chapter in this area. And we have a great uh, president uh, for our club, but uh, and Bruce just came on about a year ago, so he's doing a great job up there in Lowell. Bruce joins us by telephone from Lowell this morning, and uh, Bruce, nice to have you with us. Hey, Mike, it's great to be with you guys. How did you get involved? Uh, how did you end up becoming a part of this North Country Trail thing? Well, you know, all, all my, my career, Mike, I've been, you know, involved with uh, you know, helping connect grassroots volunteers like Steve and the folks at, uh, at the Chief Bob East chapter, uh, you know, with the resources and helping, uh, helping them do the, the job that they love to do, which is, you know, in, in this case, put trail on the ground. Uh, so I've been involved in outdoor education all my life, and, uh, and this opportunity to, to work with the North Country Trail Association came up, and I said, well, you know, that sounds like something I can do. And you know, uh, getting something like this put together in the very beginning had to be a monumental effort uh, for groups in all of those states to uh, develop the trail system, first of all, because they had to carve this out of some pretty rough country. Yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, it, it's truly the North Country Trail. It's, it's one of eight national scenic trails, and... Uh, and Congress designated this through the National Trail System, which actually was uh, first started in 1968. This is the 40th uh, anniversary of the National Trail System this year. And, uh, and the idea with the North Country Trail was to try to uh, put together a, a hiking trail that, that truly interpreted the best of the, the historical and the cultural and the natural features that, that we kind of lump together and, and, and call it the North Country. You know, this is something that people can do it's inexpensive. You don't have to pay a lot of money to, to go hiking, and it's great exercise. I doubt right, and certainly in today's society, we're talking about things like getting uh, families and kids back connected with the outdoors, and uh, you know, healthy recreational activities and leisure pursuits that are you know are good for you and that uh, are, have a low impact on the environment. Uh, you can't go, uh, uh, can't do much better than hiking for that. Steve, let me ask you a question, if I can. Uh, how do local people who aren't involved in the North Country Trail that might have an interest in hiking or, you know, hiking the trail or maybe even helping maintain it, how do they, uh, how do they join your group? Well, the easiest way will be this Saturday we have an event going, uh, uh, basically a membership promotion hike and a picnic uh, for the membership. Uh, we're going to start be at uh, Waterworks Park out of Bobby's at 9 o'clock. I'll be out there. Uh, we're going to start the hike about 9.30. We're going to have the, the uh, basically the picnic after the hike, uh, noonish. Now, if you're worried about how far you can hike, don't worry about it. We're just you can t do whatever you want. You can get, kind of go. We're going to do an out and back, which means you kind of hike down the trail to you about halfway what, what you want to do, and then come on back. And that way, you can put in one mile, or you can put in 20 miles if you want to. It takes you right down into basically the Lost Nation State Game Area. We have got great trail down that area. But you can basically hike whatever you want, and you can sign up right then and there. Uh, it's basically forty-six dollars for a membership. Now, I will have a limited number of, of uh, what they call sponsor memberships available for twenty-three dollars. There, if you're a student, it's only ten dollars, so it's easy to get get involved. And all this money goes back back in the trail, back in the building the trail. Uh, we we have a lot of equipment. We have, and you can have lots of fun building stuff if you like to build trail. And we do this with non-mechanical means, so we need lots of volunteers to do non -mechanical it. Non-mechanical means, that's yeah. sweat equity. Sweat equity, uh, which is lots of shovels and, and holes and that type of stuff. Uh, but we, we've, we're kind of removing some of the trail around there that have gone through wet spots, so we're doing a good job, I think, down the trail. Uh, Ryan, our current president, has been very active in getting that done. And uh, we should have a good group out there this weekend, so that would be the easiest way. Otherwise, you can just call me at my office. Okay. Uh, and it's, that, that number is easy. It's, uh, Four three nine fifty five fifty five. Is that uh, registration fee? Is that membership fee? Is that an annual thing, or is that that, that, that that's an annual thing? Bruce, you you want to fill us in on, on the other opportunities that people have? As you say, Steve, the best way to you know, get acquainted with what's going on in the area is to join the the uh, Bob East chapter uh, and and go on a hike. These folks know what to do as far as what to take and and you know how to hike and, and how to plan a 
a successful outing and, and there's just nothing better than to you know to hook up with that chapter and participate in their activities one way to uh, find out about those activities is to go online to the uh, website which is basically the northcountrytrail.org uh, www.northcountrytrail.org all one word and uh, you can find out more about the uh, about the chief bob east chapter's activities as well as other activities that are going on all along the trail and, and there's information on there as, as well as far as uh, uh, joining the association and supporting the activities on the North Country Trail. So that'd be, be my suggestion for where to go for information. Bruce, are you a hiker? You bet. Yeah, one of the active, one of the things they asked me on my uh, in my job interview is, is uh, you know, what kind of hiking shoes you got? And I said, which pair? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, you know, that's an interesting thing, and we should tell anybody who might want to hike the North Country Trail or anywhere that a good pair of comfortable uh, hiking shoes are a must. Uh, probably some uh, some insect repellent about this time of the year and, and plenty of water to take along and those are some key things. That's correct. Those are the things that uh, you know you most need to be concerned with that and any weather protection protection uh, you know whether it's uh, you know a hat or uh, sunglasses uh, you know and, and uh, uh, parka if the weather turns cold on you that kind of thing but but yeah a good pair of hiking shoes is a you know is, is a good thing and most local stores that specialize in, in hiking activity uh, uh, you know, do uh, uh, do a pretty good job of helping you fit some shoes that'll that'll be good for you. Yeah, but one thing about it, when you're hiking, you get into a lot of different types of terrain, and if you have shoes that aren't designed for that and don't fit well, or maybe aren't broken in, uh, you'll have blisters, and that's that's not a good way to go. No, no, they they take the fun out of it right quick. <laughs> Bruce, want to thank you much, Bruce Matthews from Lowell, who's director of the North Country Trail, for joining us by phone today, and we'll kind of let you get back to your business. Thanks for the time. Opportunity and encourage folks to uh, support the Chief Bob East chapter and the efforts that Steve and his folks are got underway there at Lost Nations and on the North Country Trail in uh, Southeast Michigan. Thanks again. AM 1340 and FM 92.1 WCSR. Uh, Steve, let's talk about one quick thing. If if someone would get on, somebody that decided that they were going to take a little sabbatical from work and maybe spend some time on the trail and got on the uh, North Country Trail in Hillsdale County, how far could they go? Well, there, there's about 4,600 miles of total trails. But uh, you can you can spend as about as much time on the trail as you want, and if you get tired of the North Country Trail, it almost attaches to the Appalachian Trail. But 4,600 miles is a long way to be walking. At least going. you can see what the trail looks like here in Hillsdale County, right. if nothing else. And I think we have a unique opportunity here. I mean, we have a national trail that comes right through Hillsdale County. It comes in down by Waldron and comes up through... Uh, now, a lot of it's in this area is on the roads because we haven't, you know, gotten access to, to a lot of land. But uh, Lost Nation State Game, game Area, uh, the Bob East Trail that they, the local Rotary Club has really been promoting as part of the trail and heads north through Jonesville. Actually, the first certified part of the trail is the old bike path between Jonesville and Hillsdale. It's one of the uh, first three areas in Michigan that were certified. Uh, and it heads up through Litchfield and goes up into Calhoun County and into that trail system. Uh, but if you really want to get involved and help, you know, uh, at least get your students involved. Uh, we have a lot of scouts involved, so it's a, it's a good opportunity to get something to go out with a family that doesn't cost you anything. If you'd like to find out more about this, you can give Steve a call, 439-5555. 5555. Yeah, or go on uh, the website, it's www.northcountrytrail.org. Steve, thank you very much for coming in and uh, updating us on what's going on with the trail and what the local chapter is doing to uh, keep this end of it looking sharp. Yep. I appreciate the time, Mike. Thanks again. Try to get out and uh, be a part of that if you can.